and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten VHS Tales. Today we're going to bring to you City Slickers 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a horror movie, but we've warned you guys that we're going to delve out of the horror movie realm for the VHS Tales. I just ended up gathering up a bunch of old VHS tapes from my dad's place. Tapes that... Like a taped off a pay per view. And and they're, they're all they're all the Safeway brand yeah. VHS. Too. <laughs> and one of them was City Slickers too, and that one was taped off of uh, pay per view. Yeah, yeah. It was very poor quality. Super yeah. green. <laughs> it was really bad. And we were doing filming. <laughs> we we're filming. I think maybe first batch of episodes for this year. Just throw in a movie and whatever. Look at these VHS in this box, and we're like. <laughs> City Slickers 2, let's put this in. City folk. City folk. <laughs> Just a blast from the past. Yeah, it was. It really was. Yeah, we had never seen the first one. And we, we as kids... We always just watched that one that you that exact tape yeah. that we watched a couple of weeks ago. We loved it. Yeah, it was it was good. It didn't matter about the quality. Yeah. It was just like, oh, I remember that because they have this map that they find in the Curly's hat or yeah. whatever. We used to make maps like that, bury treasure, and <laughs> yeah, we'd bury this fake treasure up by this like baseball diamond that was way out. Show the map to our friends and t get them to go find the treasure, and, and it'd be all crunched up. We'd make it look all burnt. We'd burn yeah. the edges with a lighter and stuff. It looked and... pretty legit, yeah. actually, pretty good, I would say. But but watching the movie again, kind of realize how bizarre the movie really is. Because Billy Crystal was this just a view for Billy Crystal to show off that he got ripped for like a year. So many scenes where Billy Crystal has his shirt off and he's doing these stupid things in the mirror like Wah. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. with and that a, bow tie yeah. thing and he's all oh, he's fucking ripped <laughs> and it's the weirdest thing like you see Billy Crystal's like head <laughs> on this ripped fucking body it's the weirdest thing it's a strange movie anyways yeah. though like when you think about it like Meshing all these weird actors together. You got Billy <laughs> Crystal, good. Jack Palance, you yeah. got John Lovitz. Yeah. Daniel Stern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. yeah he's good in it, too. And he's, he's, yeah. it's kind of nice seeing him play a little bit more of a straight guy, you know? Right. Jack Palance is great, too, because he he's so straight. Like a rock. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. But he's still got a lot of great lines, yeah. too. Certain scenes would not work. If it was someone else besides Jack Palance in it, yeah. like the scene where they're freezing all night and they're mm -hmm. all huddling to stay warm, but Jack Palance character he's won't. All, he's on that rock yeah. by himself. And then in the morning, they go and get him and they think he's dead, but he's just Jack Palance. He's just stone anyway. He's just like a statue. The sequel is better than the original. Yeah, the original's kind of... It's good. When I finally... Because I remember we only ever saw the second one because it was so fun and adventurous and hunting for treasure and all this stuff. Then you go back and watch the first one because, oh, the second one's so good. Just going on a cattle drive. That's the whole movie is entitled <laughs> Korea Tide on the Cattle <laughs> Drive. <laughs> So it's kind of boring, but this movie is like they're hunting for treasure. Yeah, it's exciting. It's way more exciting. There's a lot of like innuendo y type stuff that yeah. you don't get as a kid that you get as an adult too. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, talking about sex there. Yeah, yeah, like you don't get as a kid, you know, like Billy Crystal with the sax all the time, yeah, his yeah. wife and stuff. And yeah, it's like, I didn't realize that as a kid, but then later it's like, fuck. He's a fucking horn dog. Yeah, man. yeah. It's not a movie you would expect that we would be into. <laughs> yeah. You know, if, if it were to come up in conversation, like, oh, I love City Slickers, it would be like, what? You <laughs> love City Slickers? Like, yeah, I used to play. I used to go hunt for treasure. And... City Slickers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All I can say about City Slickers 2, if you haven't seen it yet, come and get me. <laughs> come, come and get, get me. me. Come, come and get, get me. me. Come and get me. Come and get me.